Hello, Z-Bird. Lucky goes on a thrilling journey through the Book of Ages to defeat the dreaded kitty litter in New Super Lucky's Tale. In today's video, we'll be defeating every boss fight in the game, so let's get started. Here he is. It's Mittens. <laughs> it's hypnotized golem, friends. Oh no, Oh, That didn't even hurt him. He's not happy though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, you have truly proven yourself worthy of my wrath. Do do do. Destiny may have made us rivals, but the sweet hand of fate has decided we must fight. Prepare yourself, Lucky Swifttail. You now face the full might of Meow Meow Kapow, a Mushu master and his stone clan, Gugong. Let's do this! <laughs> I didn't know he could talk. Let's do this, I guess. All right, Mittens, you are going down. Actually, I gotta take these guys out first. I'm so sorry, my little golem friends. Hopefully, you know, they're, they're made of rock. Hopefully they can handle it. Okay, so I can smack those around. Oh my gosh, that's wild. Grab all these coins real quick, and this. Oh man, gotta dodge some fireballs now. So a lot of this isn't really fighting with mittens just yet. It's just sort of fighting other things that aren't mittens. Okay, oh don't get hit, don't get hit. We don't wanna burn up our lederhosen. Yeah, definitely doing the little spin there helps us get enough air time. Let's get some free coins. Oh yeah, that whole time I could've just been digging underground, I think. <laughs> That's funny. I could, I could just dodge it that way. Okay, there he is. Hold on, let me grab these coins. No, that's not him. That's a little rock guy thing. There we go, boom. Ow, what? I, I swung now, that was weird. Anyways, it's fine. I still have two more hits I can take. See, let's just hide in the ground. Well, actually, for these bouncing ones, that might be a problem. So let's be careful. He's throwing more guys at us. Oh, am I supposed, oh, okay. So I don't even have to go and fight him directly. I just have to knock those bat things back at him. Got it. Whoa, whoa. Gotta be careful where I'm going. If I run into one of these circles, it doesn't work out so well. So there is that. Hitting him again, and again, and again. Oh, I guess I only have to hit him one time. Whoa, <laughs> see ya. Wait, that was it? Zan, 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 your power level is impressive, but this is only a temporary defeat. The briefest of respites, the shortest of retreats. Do -do. For now, Mittens, master of the Mushu martial arts, will continue training. Make no mistake, tiny rival, our epic battles have just begun. We are fated to be foes for life. Someday I shall vanquish you, but until then, whoosh, I vanish. Wow. I thought that was gonna be a little bit more of a fight, but that was pretty easy. Wow, you did it, you really did it. Sky Castle and the golems are safe. And with that page you got there, we can complete a whole chapter. That means we can open a portal to another world again. Oh man, Pete is going to lose his head over this. Man, you'd make an amazing guardian, you know? The golems and I owe you big time. If you ever need help, we'll have your back. We're friends, right? All right, well, isn't that awesome? We're able to complete this chapter because we defeated Mittens, and we got the entire first world 100% complete. That was just perfectly productive. Oh no, whoa, oh my. <laughs> She's crazy. What is going on with this thing? It's like a tractor robot spider. Okay, this is not good. You really are a persistent pest. I'll admit that your ability to defy my prediction models is surprising, but you've been the wrench in my works long enough. Allow me to introduce you to my latest innovation, Petunia. Together we'll wipe that endless smirk off your face and take every page you've collected so far. Prepare yourself for you, you aberration of annoyance. Good talk. We'll see about that. Let's do this indeed. So what do we do here? I don't know. Okay, so they'll just dive right out of dead center. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I can hit these. That's good. Watch it! Those lasers, and I got it. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Oh, so we got the hypnotizers working against her. That's what affected the chickens before, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. So we just gotta get rid of the bees now. The bees, honestly, are like the biggest threat. Oh, watch it! No, okay. Sent that right back at you. Okay, one more, right over this way, and we got him. 
So what are you gonna do now? Probably dive right back at us. So let's just avoid that as much as we can. Ah, oh, watch it! Did that get me? That didn't get me, it almost did. That was scary. So I have to be ready for that. Okay, there's a lot going on here. I gotta be careful of these lasers. They're moving back this way. Oh, one more hit right there. No, right here, got it. So that's gonna be a second hit on you. This is going pretty quick. You can only hope that we only have to do three hits, but I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later. Let's try to be ready for the bees now. Oh, did I land on him? I guess I did. <laughs> that was a little weird. Got him, that was pretty quick this time. So you're gonna charge right down the center. I'm ready for you to pick up your claw to attack me again. Oop, not a problem. Do it again, see what happens. I'm out of here. So what do you got going on this time? I'm going to set up as many attacks as I can. Whoa, fireballs everywhere. I hope I want to try to do this without taking any damage. But to do that, I gotta run over this way and hit that one. What's gonna happen this time? Her machine's falling apart. I think we got her. See ya, oh, she got ejected. You did good, kid. Our sleepy little village could use more friends like you. You know, Tess might be a madder than a nest of hornets in a well-oiled paint shaker, but her idea of innovating things up a bit around here ain't all bad. Well, with the portals to other worlds reopening and all, might be, be time we updated the village a smidge. By the by, have you met my new deputy, Jolene? I have. Figured I could use a new partner, seeing as you'll be moving on soon on account of this here clover page I got for you. Thanks again and come back at a time, you hear? Well, thank you so much for the Clover page. I hope everything goes well here in the Veggie Village or whatever it was called. I really enjoyed my time. You guys are very nice. You have great hospitality. But we are on to the new area. So this is the first boss where it's two people. The lieutenant and the sergeant. Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> You heard him. Oh, goodbye. Oh, yikes. Oh, the ready in the cannons. That's not good. Ha <laughs> ha, while the Yetis are currently engaged in the strange morning ritual of yoga, the watermelons are unguarded and ripe for the taking. Fools! Once we cut the enemy off from their supply, their resistance will end and restful retreat will be ours. This will be the perfect staging ground for our conquest of the book. The time for mercy has passed. We shall vanquish this land and take both the pages and their uh, aromatherapy secrets by force. Lieutenant Fluff and Stuff, to battle! Oh my. So let's do what we can about this. Run, run, run. Ah. So he's just jumping around like a maniac right now. Not much we can do about that, I don't think. He's very bouncy. So luckily we made it out of that in one piece, but what do we do now? Oh, is he coming over now? Oh, okay, okay. They're firing some stuff at us. Oh my. Oh my. Keep going, keep jumping. Yeah, we can't dig in under any of this. We had this sort of for the first boss, but we could dig. Oh, I don't like it. And we're surviving pretty well, actually. They do sort of move, they sort of wiggle. Are we just supposed to just keep at this? We can zoom out a little bit. Yeah, when am I supposed to be able to attack? Oh, maybe I can knock these back. Uh, oh yeah, 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 look at this. Boom. There we go, just have to hit them once. So the first round is done. They're sending in some enemies. No, wrong way. <laughs> got him, and got him. Not too bad, actually. So you have to jump when they throw them so that you know, they don't go over you. That's not too bad. So we have to pay attention a lot to his shadow. It's, it's very shallow shadow. You just barely see it, but you can still see it. And then after that, with the dodge of the fireballs, which is definitely the most difficult part of this boss fight. It really is a tar pit, though. Don't want to fall on that, that'd be gross. Oh, now it's going from right to left. So far, not too bad, actually. Let's just, you know, jump in place where I can. Spin, there we go. Keep going. 
I haven't taken any damage. Yeah, I didn't take any damage on the previous boss fight, Tess, either. Want to keep that trend going. So they're gonna be sending some bombs our way in a moment. Once they land, we can knock them back, it seems. Oh, did that work? That worked. Two hits, maybe one more to go. Okay, these guys again. Got it. Oh, wow, two for one there. Not too bad, I think. Sort of looked like it. Okay, I can't really see what's going on there. Did he just throw it into his friend? That was weird. Yeah, he keeps throwing it into his friend. <laughs> okay, watch out for that. And watch out for him. Look out from above. I think this will be his last slam right there. And he's out of here. So if we can just survive the barrage of flames one more time, I think we'll be all right. Okay, let's just wait right here for now. Oh, this one. Okay, this one's a bit more demanding. Okay, I thought it was about the end. I was like, that's actually not too bad. Oh man, oh man, that was close. Gotta be really, really careful. Okay, okay, that's it, that's it, that's it, we did it! Yeah! So here comes one of the bombs. Send it right back at him. And is he finished off for good? Yes, he is, I think he is. See ya. <laughs> He's going down with his ship. Into the tar, yuck. Thanks for all of your help, brother. We're making you an honorary Yeti. We'll deal with General Buttons and Lieutenant Fluff and stuff through peaceful rehabilitation. Uh, if I've learned anything from the wrestling Yetis, Buttons and Fluffy will have to learn to love themselves if they hope to be true tag team champs. Maybe I can apply some Yeti philosophies to my life. You definitely should. You learned a lot in your time with us, brother, which gets me to thinking. Our love for wrestling once took us down the dark path. Real combat causes real injuries. But what if we could make it something fun again without the senseless violence, brothers? What if we could share our joy of wrestling with fans in a safe way? Something like sports entertainment? Exactly, Tiny Rock, performance wrestling. Pretend violence expressed peacefully. Harmonious haymakers, yeah. Okay, I think it's time to go. Sounds like fun to me. Oh, and there they were, the whole time. They were just sitting there covered in tar. <laughs> Looks like they have jumped off and we have gotten another page which will bring us into a whole new land. Back in the book we go. Oh, here she is. Yeah, that was pretty good. But somebody is shutting it down. I'm not mad that you ruined my party. I'm not upset that nothing has gone according to my plan. I'm not furious that everything around me is going wrong. I don't even care that he didn't show up. He? I'm so totally over it. Hey, Mr. DJ, turn up the volume. We're going to make this dance floor sizzle. Let's do it. Dancing around, uh, dancing away our problems, I guess. Okay, so it looks like we're battling on the dance floor. Ow! This is pretty cool. Whoa, gotta be careful, gotta be ready for that. So now that I know the dance floor will turn a little dangerous, we gotta follow the, the smaller cube, I suppose. There we go. Oh man, it's only gonna be one this time? Oh wait, am I getting it mixed up? Oh, I'm getting it mixed up. Be careful, can I attack her? No, that hurt me. Okay, gotta be careful of that. So I guess there'll be a clear opportunity to take her out. I'm already done to one heart though, so this is a bit of a concern. This is definitely a boss fight that takes some learning. Okay. Oh, now I go for it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> she got such a long tail. Oh, can I go for her again? Okay. How many times can I do it? Was that it? I guess so. Oh, be careful. Now the tempo is picking up. Oh man, that was close. Oh, this one's much better. Whoa, but the bees are attacking. Why does there have to be bees every time? Gotcha, okay, well sort of, there we go. Boom. Oh, this is a tough one. This is definitely the toughest boss yet. We haven't even finished it yet. There we go. Okay, so once again with this, we gotta dodge the disco lasers of doom. And this time we have less space to do it in. Oh no, oh no, ooh, ah, 
We can do it! Oh, uh, maybe! Uh, no! Uh, okay! Hold on tight! There we go. Come on. Got her. Keep getting her. That's it. So that's two hits now. Only one more to go. Oh, that might not be easy, though. Oh, here come the bees. Or no, 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 okay. We actually got some dance partners. Oh, yeah. There we go. Worked out pretty well, actually. So they don't get affected by the lightning. You'd think they'd want to help out then, but no, I guess they're being too cap capitalized, cap captivated <laughs> by the by the beats. Oh man, this is so tough to balance out. You gotta just full on pay attention to Lucky's shadow is like the big thing. Okay. I don't like it when they change directions like that. Okay, there we go. Come on, this is it, this is it, we did it! Okay, so we did it all in one try at the least. See ya! Oh man. Fine, take the page. I don't need it. I'll find a whole book worth of pages if that's what it takes. You think I'm famous now? Wait until the remix. I'll claw my way to the top and outshine all of you. Enjoy your time in the spotlight for now, kitten. My next track will mean your real trouble for you. And for him. Who's him? We got a subplot going on. Lady M, postcard for Lady M. What do you mean she left? For him. Bummer timing, the message was urgent. Hey, um, I I know how much, wait, did he, he's reading the message. That's sort of not cool to do as a mailman. I, I know how much this party meant to you, but I'm so sorry. I'm tied up at the moment. Still your biggest fan. It's signed Lucas S something or other. The letter got wet and the ink ran. Guess I shouldn't have stopped to surf first, huh? So Lucas, isn't that one of our relevant relatives? And there's Lucky, and then there was Lucas, and there's Lyra, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, that is another page, which is we're heading into a whole new world. Oh, it's dark. Lucky, over here. Lyra. Oh. I'm so glad you're here. How'd you get into the the book? Oh no, it was a trap. What are we gonna do? I've waited ages for this moment. Little Swift tell how kind of you to collect the missing pages for me on your way here. <laughs> Did you really not think I had a plan all along? So eager to play the hero, you brought the book right to me in the end. This tome is more powerful than you can imagine, but I needed a way to amplify my own spells in order to unlock its true potential. How oddly fortunate that we should finally meet in a world that sits at the nexus of all magic. A world that my bedlam boxes have been siphoning energy from this whole time. Behold the true power of the Book of Ages. Today, I rewrite history. Your sister and friends can't help you now, little swift tail. Do try to make it interesting before I destroy you. Yeah, let's do this. Our friends have been very helpful, but we're capable of doing this one all on our own. Looks like we're jumping over all of his like waveforms. Watch, he's gonna punch. He's gonna punch. Whoa, okay, or not. Ah, okay, laser eyes. Wasn't expecting that one. Nice. Got some pretty cool abilities, won't deny. But not cool enough. But how are we gonna hurt him? Whoa, okay. Badly timed with that. See, like I think that I would figure that means he's like getting ready to punch me, but I guess not. It's just he's charging up his magical abilities. Whoa. So so far so good. I can dodge these attacks all right, but how do I hit him? You know? Whoa! The whole thing is moving now. Okay, that didn't hurt me. Good. There's got to be something I can do. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, just raising it a little bit. Okay, I could definitely jump off these ghosts. I mean, I say that, that is very disorienting because I just can't see the angling very well. There we go. Okay, he didn't seem to like that very much. Here he is, can I hit him? I can't, maybe I can jump on his head. Oh, that got him. Okay. 
That got him too, so I can do a little slam on him. There we go. Oh, that got me some health back, great. So he tried to get me, didn't work out so well for him. Okay, so we know his song and dance at this point. He moves the platforms around, he does some laser eyes. Whoa, I can't believe I made it back up from that. <laughs> that was a little scary, but I did lose some health. Let's try to not lose any more. This is pretty simple. It just gets scary when his eyes go through the, or the lasers go through the platform like that. Okay, so he's gonna go for us again. Why do I keep doing that? I think it's really the viewing angle. It's a little weird for me. There we go. So he's going for the laser vision once more. And, whoa, watch it. This is definitely not easy though. This is, this is very crazy. So far, so good. What do you got next? Everything is getting all over the place. Like I thought I was above his head there, but I wasn't. And that's where it gets so weird. I can't like see them. Well, I mean, I can see them obviously, but I can't like see if I'm over their heads because it's like, you need like a more top down view for that. There's like this depth perception issue. That's not good. We're at 70 lives too. Do I have to do the whole thing over? Probably, ah, oh, that's a shame. Whoa, this is crazy. Okay, I was able to keep up with that. I think we still have two more hits on him, but I've sort of lost track. I've died a couple of times now, so it's not been easy. Um, but this part's the tough part. The ghosts come in, and it can get very, very overwhelming, because I can't, like, they don't have shadows. If they had shadows, this would be so much easier, because, like, like you can see that my shadow will go over their head, but I can't tell beyond that. But that's a that's definitely a big indicator, is paying attention to their shadows over their head. So he's gonna go small again. No! But once again, I got messed up with the depth perception. I really don't like this camera angle. Oh, I gotta try again. Okay, so I think I'm farther than I was last time. I think I've hit him twice now, and he's bringing this up so that more ghosts are coming in. So if I can just hit him, after all this, we'll be fine. I mean, he's gonna hit me with the laser vision. I gotta avoid it. I really need to keep as much health as I can manage right now. If I could keep both of these hearts. Oh man, the angling to that is weird. Um, before he goes into his little ghost mode. I mean, now we have other ghosts popping up and once again, oh, this time we have to juggle it too. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. We got this. Oh, just about a little bit of confidence. Oh, a two for one deal. I'll take it. What a bargain. Okay, no, oh, grab on tight, L Lucky, you got it. Okay, he's going into a small ghost form, boom. Whoa, he split into two. What is this about? There we go, there we go. He split into three. I don't like this, I don't like this at all. Okay, ready? Jump, jump, and jump. Okay, just stay in the air then. Uh, I think this is the last one. There we go, we did it! Wow, okay, what next? Is there more? No, there's not, we defeated him! Okay, give us our pages back. Wow, we did it. <laughs> I can't believe it! Hiya! Oh, okay, I can't like beat him up a little bit extra. What is going on? Are we being sucked back into the book? Is that our home? Or is that, I don't know, yeah! <laughs> he seems happy. I think we're going back home. In the end, Lucky did the impossible. Not only did he protect the Book of Ages from Jinx and his kitty litter, but he managed to reconnect the worlds within. For the first time since the battle for Sky Castle began, the portals had reopened. What in the world? And the last of the guardians that had escaped could finally return home. Lucky! Surprise! <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? It's super cool, Lucky. And it's Aww. good to be home. Wasn't that great? So I guess everything is good in the world now. That's awesome. We, we did it. We actually beat the game. I told those nerds in R&D to remix the, those soft serve boss fights you've already been through into something worthy of a guardian. Whoa, look at that test in the background. That's crazy. If you thought test was tough the first time around, you might need to hit the treadmill before trying this one out. 
Actually, we beat Tess without taking any damage. So we got some extra difficult stuff here. Wow, this is interesting. So same boss fight, all metallic and stuff. You're kidding me. <laughs> and there's conveyor belts. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, first off we're doing that. Oh, these are moving. Oh, that is super disorienting because they move quick. Like those those ones that are like turning at an angle, they move super fast. They've already like taken two hits. That's really not good. So this is definitely a good one to finish it off with. It are these intense boss fights. Okay, come on. Gotta get rid of the bees now. But if I do, I think I'll get some extra health or maybe I did get extra health before because I, I was back up to two hearts, I guess. Okay, are you gonna fall? You are. Oh, we're back to full health now. Okay, good. I really needed that. So definitely avoid that. Whoa, oh, ah, okay. That was crazy. And now you're gonna set up the lasers again. But more importantly, you're setting up things I can hit. Okay, these actually aren't too bad to dodge yet. Okay, just a couple more, couple more, couple more. Got it. And thank you. Wow, okay. So I think we have one more round to go here. Let's beat those bees. Hot dogs, hot dogs. So that's gonna be the kicker here, is while we're fighting, we need to find out when the hot dog's gonna pop up, because that could've popped up on the other side. I would've probably not even seen it. That's crazy. I got really lucky with that one for sure. That makes me very nervous. Uh, oh no, did that get me? That did get me. Okay. It's gonna jump away from the extra like force field waves. Okay, I know these lasers are gonna be moving soon, so I'm just trying to beat them to the punch, I suppose. And then one last one over this way, come on. Yes, no, but I'm about to fall. No, Lucky, come back. Come back, Lucky, he's just standing in the middle of the air. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, maybe if I keep pressing jump. Oh, is that it? We beat her, okay, whoa, that was impressive, little dude. You're a localized natural disaster. Watching that made this old warrior want to cry a little. To the max. Maximum crying. Yeah, so our first medal for the boss fights. Very interesting. Buttons and Fluffy, round two. Let's see if you can take down those two numbskulls again with a twist and lots more jumping. I'll try. They have watermelon everywhere now. Oh boy, the Fluffle Shuffle. So are we just not going against the very first boss again? A little weird. So for this, of course, not too much more we can do besides dodge him when he's jumping around like that. But now, I don't know what's going on. The camera's changing. Oh, hot dogs are right off the bat. Okay, well, glad to have gotten those. Now all I have to worry about is just beating it. We'll be fine. So it looks like in, are they moving towards me or are they just wiggling? They're just wiggling. Yeah, they're just wiggling. Okay, we're fine. So far, so good. Haven't taken any damage yet. What do you got next, huh? Oh, okay. Do I have to hit those back at you? I think so. So boom. I got one of them, so that's pretty good. But some of our platforms are falling away, which is definitely where this is gonna become more difficult. Okay. No, I knocked those the wrong way. Okay, we got two for one there. Oh, be careful. So this will get more difficult as it continues because of the fact that we have very little space to work with as it is, and that's gonna get lesser and lesser. All right, well. I'm just gonna try to be careful here. Awesome. And I guess we get to hit him again. Okay, boom, got it. And once you hit him once, you can't hit him more than once. Be cool if you could end the boss fight early, but not quite. Yes, knock that right back. Come on, quickly, quickly. There we go. One more? No, I didn't even need to, cool. So this is where it gets problematic. He's gotta time it well. As soon as he jumps, we gotta jump. Okay. All right. So now I got more of the uh, wiggly things to dodge. 
Okay, so at least they're like, I mean, there's less of them, but the formation is harder to keep up with. But I think I, I've, I've sort of gotten in a good pattern right there. I have to jump up and down. Okay, so shouldn't they be shooting out the uh, cannons now? I think so. Oh, this is it. So yeah, let's just uh, knock one of these over. I don't care which one. And there we go, we did it. So that actually was easier than Tess by a good margin. I'm surprised by how much easier that was than Tess. Oh, yes, you are on fire, but not in the bad way. Oh, you showed that boss who's boss, you. <laughs> All right, so another one defeated, and because of that, another medal. Riggle Mania Foxington. Am I going against him? Oh, that's so cool. I, I hope. Yeah, this is looking like a proper, proper wrestling match right now. Everybody's cheering on, hopefully me. Welcome to the Battle Royale with extra cheese. Chip Dunn whipped up some robotic greatest hitters from the Book of Ages to challenge your fighting skills. Find a way to crush them and maybe, just maybe you could become a real guardian. Get ready for four rounds in the squared circle, brother. So I guess it's not against him. That's sort of a shame. Um, well, let's find out. So I guess it's sort of like a survival gauntlet. Huh. Oh no, that's a problem. Yeah, I gotta be careful with these guys because they sort of attack a little bit differently, but I can just kick them. And once they're dizzy, I think you can yeah, just like knock them out of the way like that. Okay, so same thing to you and then these two birds. There's no time limit, so I can I can really take my time. <laughs> what do you know? That's sort of the nice thing about no time limits. Okay. Almost got it. Just like that, and one last one. Okay, is he sending out more? Oh, he's giving me a heart, thank you. And some money too, for my troubles. Oh, lots of it too. 250. I don't think that's it though. Yep, that was round one. Now round two, is she, is she sweating? I guess it's very hot. I mean, yeah, we're over a bunch of lava right now. There we go. Oh yeah, there's, I didn't even see those. There's a fireballs being launched out. Can they get hit by the fireballs? I guess not. That was pretty easy. So I just like immediately wanna go for them most of the time. You got stuck. I'm so sorry. Okay, so far this really isn't that bad. I mean, it makes like a, an effect as if they're getting hurt by it, but they don't seem to actually be getting hurt by it. Weird. Anyways. Got two more hearts I don't need, so if I can just let those chill out there until I need them, that'd be perfect. So what are we going against next? It's round three. Oh, she is on fire now. Poor thing. Stop dipping her into the lava. Okay, so some platforms have some spikes on them. Can I go in between them? Why did I even try? Uh, <laughs> whoop. Yeah, let's try to dodge that heart so it sticks around for when I need it. Because I'm most likely going to need it. Okay, are, are things gonna flip? Maybe. They are, but luckily it puts me in a safe position first. Hot dogs, hot diggity dog. There we go. Had to, you know, hit the heart to get it, which stinks. So you can just barely see Lucky Shadow over the spikes, but not really much to be able to do things in a high, ten, in ten, high intensity scenario. Okay, I'm, pr I'm guessing there's probably gonna be one more set of enemies coming up across all these different spikes. It's all checkerboarded. And the lasers are going back and forth, which is just not making anything easier. Well, we got some major height off this, this B. There we go. So I guess if I press jump right at the same time I, you know, bounce off the B, I get some extra height. Okay, I desperately need both of these. It's not fair that the lasers are still moving around. There they go. So we got over 800 coins for that. Why 803 specifically? Oh no, there's another round, round four. But there is a checkpoint. Uh, okay. Whoa, what are these guys? Oh, I sort of remember them, right? Have, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I remember these guys. What was with the giant purple ball? I don't know. This is weird. Maybe they were just like a one-off enemy in a level that I just don't really remember too well. Because they seem sort of kind of familiar, but also not. I don't know, I'm so confused. No, I've definitely not seen these guys before. But once you defeat them, this giant purple ball of doom starts chasing me. And it looks like it eventually goes away, but it's a little weird. Boom. Okay, beat you up. Wow, you're kidding me. That was bizarre. Do I start back in that round? I really hope so. Because I, I there was a checkpoint there, so just starting at round four would be perfect. 
Okay, so let's try this out first. Not bad. Oh, but that always happens to me. I gotta expect on that third hit, the giant flaming ball of doom is gonna pop out. And I don't quite know if there's anything I can do to get rid of it. It doesn't seem like something I'd be able to feasibly jump off on top of. Okay, I don't know why that didn't hurt the bee. There we go. So do I just have to avoid it for a bit? Is that the trick? I guess maybe it'll at least eventually run into something else. There's like so much stuff on the screen. It's so difficult keeping up with like what's going on. There we go. I need a new, like more health desperately. But I don't know if it's gonna give it to me. I mean, maybe. Oh, that was it. Whoa, you're the mayor of Pain Town now, little brother. Aggressive posturing aside, you are in this. Oh, yeah. Wow, okay, we did it. I thought we were gonna take him on, but I guess not. But that is another level done, the last one. And we got all but one hot dog. So I'm gonna go back and get that now, and hopefully everything will go well. So there it is, over 5,000, almost 6,000 coins there, and our 16th and final medal. How cool is that? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He's jamming out. Sardinho. Sardinho. Okay, so what's happening now? I don't know. Oh boy, it's exciting. Lucky passed the trials with flying colors and earned his place as a full-fledged guardian. As if there was any doubt. He is a swift tail after all. We come from a long line of guardians and together we'll defend the Book of Ages and all the worlds within. Wherever they are, I know the rest of our family would be just as proud of Lucky as I am today. The Guardian Order is slowly rebuilding and our task is to find all the other guardians that were lost when Jinx first attacked. We've got a lot of work ahead of us and many new worlds waiting to be explored. Lucky's tale ends there for now, but I have a feeling this is just the beginning of his adventures. Oh, how cool is that? So that's the book closed on this game, sort of. We're almost done, <laughs> but wow. I really do hope that means they're working on more stuff, because I love it, for sure. So I guess we're going probably back to Foxington now. Right? Oh, no! So they're all jailed. I like how happy Tess looks. Uh-oh. It's him! Hey, Jinx. Been a while. Who's this?! What? Who is that? Does like does Lucky have an older brother too? What's his name? Larry? I don't know. Wow. So there was every single boss fight in New Super Lucky's Tale. I had a lot of fun playing this game a few years ago when it first came out, and definitely if you want to see more on the game, check out our full 100% playthrough of it, and if they ever make any new Lucky adventures, I will be sure to check them out. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.